With more people headed to the water, jellyfish stings are possible, and CVS Minute Clinic nurse practitioner Linda Mogalu says treating it is easy. And then you can put some antibiotic ointment on there and, uh, and a Band-Aid, and that's really all you need to do. Some common remedies that people use is urine um, and meat tantalizers, and those are typically not effective. She recommends you use the water right there at the beach, since salt water is a natural antiseptic. And whether in a pool or the Gulf, another common summertime complaint is swimming swimmer's ear. Especially if it's dirty water, then it can cause, you know, bacterial infection in your ear. Use a home remedy of half rubbing alcohol with half white vinegar to help prevent the infection or buy these drops to save some time. If you're spending your days out of the water but in the woods, poison ivy and ticks are other common concerns. For ticks, Mogalu reminds you to tweeze them out from the head, clean with rubbing alcohol, and keep a close eye on it for several weeks to watch for signs of Lyme disease. It's very important to keep an eye on that location where the bite occurred to make sure you don't develop a fever or a rash, a bull eye rash. Rashes that appear like hives could be poison ivy. If you don't know how you got it, keep in mind dogs, which are rarely affected by poison ivy, can spread the oil from the plant to you. Most of the time we advise over-the-counter stuff like calamine lotion, you know, to help with it, or oatmeal bath.